George Owen Square was born March 21, 1865, in the town of Dryden, Michigan, about three weeks before the end of the Civil War. In 1887, he graduated from the United States Military Academy in West Point, New York. His first duty assignment after graduation was in Baltimore, Maryland. He was able to adjust his schedule and attend John Hopkins University. In 1893, he graduated with a Ph.D. in physics. He was the Army's first soldier to have a Ph.D. degree. In 1896, he worked with Dartmouth professor Albert Cushing Creole and developed the magneto-optical street camera called the polarizing photo chronograph to measure the speed of projectiles both inside a cannon and directly after they left the cannon barrel. This was one of the earliest photographic programs. In 1905, as an up-and-coming Army officer, he established the Army's first signal school at Fort Leavenworth, Kansas, and later he established the Army's radio research laboratory at Fort Monmouth, New Jersey. In 1907, as executive officer to the chief signal officer, he was helpful in establishing the Aeronautical Division of the U.S. Army Signal Corps, the first organizational ancestor to the U.S. Air Force. He was also the first military passenger in an airplane on September 12, 1908. In 1907, he wrote the specifications for a military airplane, and in 1909, he was responsible for the U.S. Army purchasing his first airplanes from the Wright brothers, and afterwards established the Army's Aviation Research Laboratory at Langley Field, Virginia. Besides working on aviation, George Square also worked on telecommunications and in 1910 patented the process called multiplexing, the ability to send multiple signals over the same wire. Multiplexing was a tremendous technological breakthrough. Multiplexing was where you attached the machine to each end of the wire and multiple signals could be sent by dividing the bandwidth of that wire. An example of this is in the U.S. Army during the First World War used the same wire for telegraph and also voice communications. No other army in the world could do this. Multiplexing allowed telecommunications to become affordable and became the backbone for the telecommunication companies such as AT&T and Verizon. Multiplexing allowed the tremendous amount of data required to run the internet travel over the existing telecommunication system. On February 14, 1917, General George Owen Square becomes Chief Signal Officer of the U.S. Army. In April of 1917, the United States enters the World War. As Chief Signal Officer, George Owen Square's responsibilities included all communications, such as telephone, telegraph, visual, and radio. He was also responsible for the aviation section, which included the design, production, and purchase of military aircraft for the U.S. Army Air Corps, along with pilot selection and training and combat operations on the Western Front during the World War. In 1922, after retiring from the U.S. Army, George Owen Square decided to start a business called Wired Radio, a service that piped music to businesses and subscribers over telephone wires. In 1934, that service's name was changed to Muzak. A number of subscribers to the Wired Radio, or Muzak service, were large department stores who preferred instrumental arrangements of pleasant harmonies. This music became known as elevator music. In 1919, George Owen Square was elected to the National Academy of Sciences for his development of the process known as multiplexing. 1916, in Lapeer County, General Square started the Citizens Country Club known as the Golden Rule Club, which had one rule, leave the grounds and equipment as you found them. The General Square Memorial Park, as the land is known today as, is maintained by Lapeer County Park Service. It features a water park, several buildings and nature areas, 
all for the enjoyment of its citizens. Major General George Owen Square was an important figure during the First World War. Being in charge of the Signal Corps, he was in charge of two technologies that have important implications today, aviation and telecommunications. During their infancy, he guided these technologies, telecommunications and aviation, for not only the military, but also for civilian uses. Major General George Owen Square was a soldier, inventor, and scientist, and one of Michigan's contributions to the World War. And because of multiplexing, you could even call him Grandfather of the Internet.